Hey there, Matt Filio working on two paintings at once. Um, sometimes when you're behind on a project, you have a deadline like I do, very tight deadline. It's more advantageous to do two paintings instead of one. So I have these two paintings taking place here, a uh, painting of Elisha picking up the mantle of Elijah, and then the loaves and the fishes. And uh, these two paintings, if you've seen my work before, Actually, I painted these before. I'm painting them again. Um, the client happens to want these two paintings in their home, and I'm happy to oblige. I love pleasing my clients with uh, artwork, and if they want to repeat painting, that's fine by me. But I'm doing these two paintings here side by side, and I just want to show you the process. I have them underway using the glazing technique, um, so you can watch over my shoulder as I paint, and I'll show you how to build up colors and layers to a rich, luminous surface. So go ahead and watch over my shoulder and we'll get started here. And before I get started here, I'm just going to ask a quick blessing. Uh, Father, I pray you'd help me to paint these portraits, both images, quickly and effectively. Um, help me to be able to get the colors and the values and the shading in the right spots. Uh, so Lord, let this be a blessing to the client and then also Lord all the students watching I pray you would help them to advance in their painting skills and that they would glorify you Lord as they do their artwork in Jesus name Amen and what I want to do is create a glaze using some matte medium here and I'm going to uh, fill in the color on this mantle just the initial color so I'm going to take this Naphthal crimson and just making a glaze out of it which is using clear acrylic medium thinning it down so we have a ratio of mostly clear medium to the paint pigment and then I'm going to apply that to this um, garment here and I'm just using uh, what is this a half inch or I'm sorry an inch flat brush and just ta tapping this in very firmly and pushing it firmly into the grooves of the canvas. And then once I get that pushed into the grooves, I smooth it out. And that's how you really get a nice smooth application of paint. Sometimes you want to flip it over and get the paint on the other side of the brush. And there we go. So that would be the first layer, just getting the basic color in there. Um, and then while this is drying, I can go ahead and work on other areas, or if I see in the other painting, if there's any areas where this color could be employed, I can add that. But if not, then I can actually go ahead and work on something else. Um, It's possible I could add a little bit of this coloring to his flesh tone. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to add just a little bit in the shadowed areas. And we'll just kind of reintroduce that color into a couple different spots in that way. Might even add a little bit of that red just to the chariot in the back. And uh, yeah, I think that'll be good. Now, maybe I even want to add a little bit of that to the ground. It's good to take a color and reintroduce it into a couple different spots on the painting, just to promote color unity. All right, that's good. Now the interesting thing about this is I, I painted this, this painting, actually both of these paintings before. And so the question is, are they going to turn out the same way as the originals? I don't think so. I'm, I'm working from the uh, reference photo and each painting is unique. So this isn't going to look exactly like the first rendition I did of it. I'll be interested in seeing on both of these how they look different than the original renditions. 
Um, but anyway, I might move over to this painting of the loaves and fishes and just work on a couple of spots there as well. Um, so what I can see this could use is a little bit of a yellow coloring in here. Um, so I'm going to take this large one inch flat, add some matte medium, and make sure that brush is nice and dry. Dip just a little bit of paint on there, just the corner of my brush into the paint. Really spread this out. And then, want to take that and just apply it to this area of the loaves. Getting a little bit of luminosity over the whole thing. And you really want to spread that out, so I'm doing some very, very rapid strokes and I want to make sure that I don't paint that over on top of the fish. I get a little delineation between them in that sense. Maybe just a little yellow on the under, underside of the fish. I can see that in there. All right, and there we go. Now I'll quickly scan and see if I can add the same yellow color to the other painting. And I think I might add it to the chariots. Just the, the chariot in the back. And contrary to popular opinion, the chariot didn't take Elijah up. It actually separated the two of them if you read the biblical text. And we can infer that the chariot stayed on the ground. I'm going to add a little bit of that yellow color um, to his clothing. So we're going to make that difference in color and tone overall between the primary highlight and the secondary highlight. Primary highlight is going to be a warmer color and the secondary highlight is going to be a cooler color. All right. And with that, I think We'll call this video good. I just want to show you a little bit on it. And um, if you found this video helpful, uh, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And uh, you can subscribe to my channel uh, for more videos like this. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. God bless. We'll see you in the next one.